An ancient cemetery has been found at the famous Giza pyramids of Cairo, Egypt, according to the Egyptian archaeology. The archaeologists of uh, Egypt have given us these images. Ministry of Antiquities. You can see the beautiful condition that they're in. They're wonderfully clean. The photo provided by the ministry. Egypt's Antiquities Ministry says the archaeologists uncovered part of an ancient cemetery near the country's famous pyramids of Giza Plateau, just outside of Cairo. Mustafa Waziri, Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, says Saturday the, the cemetery houses burial shafts and tombs of top officials and of fine limestone, stat, limestone statue of an old kingdom fifth dynasty, which is pretty way back. That's about 2,465 to 2,323 BC. So that's almost 5,000 years ago. Ashraf Mohi, the head of the Giza Plateau archaeological site, says scientists know that the cemetery had been reused extensively in the late period, which was 664 to 332 BC, as archaeologists found painted and decorated wood, anthropoid coffins, and wooden and clay funerary masks from that period. Egypt has tutored a series of archaeological finds lately, hoping such discoveries will spur tourism, which suffered a major setback during the unrest followed the 2011 uprising. Now here we have the mummies that they found in the tomb, and you can see how well they're painted over. The faces were also painted to look as much as possible as the deceased. And uh, we even find that in uh, around the time of uh, Jesus Christ, around uh, uh, 30, BC, 30 AD, the, they had found the Fayum portraits, which were in fact uh, papyrus uh, painted painted over the face of the mummy, over the top of the uh, mummy casket, and it uh, each person had the image of what they looked like, and uh, that carried on to making of icons. Uh, we see them in the catacombs of Rome, of the saints and the, the uh, lives that they led, scenes from their lives, and what they looked like. And we see them in the frescoes on the walls of the catacombs in Rome, for example, carried on from then. And um, you can see here the architecture and the blocks are like they were made yesterday. It's just unbelievable. Now, the fifth dynasty, the Old Kingdom, about 5,000 years ago, Compared to the previous dynasties, the fifth dynasty is uh, fairly well known. They say all kings noted in the king's list and by Manetho are attested by archaeological sources, largely due to the increased amount of documents from that period. The dynasty brought significant changes and innovations to the Egyptian society. The rising importance of the solar cult already noted from the fourth dynasty, came to a climax. Except for the last two of its uh, dynasties, all kings built so-called solar temples. Two such solar temples have been found and have provided to be proven to be quite unique buildings. The first solar temple at Abusir, Abusir and to the north of Sahara was built by Yusuf Kaf and extended by Neferirake, and New Ser, the only other remaining one, was built by New Ser at Abu Ghorab, north of Abu Sir. The names of the other solar temples are known, but they have not yet been identified. So I guess there's more to be found. Now, the massive altar at Solar Temple, you see, I'll leave pictures for you. These are beautiful pictures in uh, ancient Egypt. Due to the shift in religious views, the building of the solar temple came to a sudden stop with the reign of Jed Kare. Um, 
so they had uh, fantastic architectural uh, knowledge. We know that the building of the solar temples, but also a standardization of the building of pyramid complexes. Most kings built their pyramid complex at Abu Sir, near the solar temple of Asir Kaf, who had built his own pyramid at Saqqara. The organization, number of rooms, pyramids, buildings outside the pyramids, rooms inside the buildings, would more and more become part of a canon. And you know that the pyramids are significantly smaller than those at the beginning of the fourth dynasty. Now the royal titulary was also extended, would form, would, would from this dynasty on consist, consists of five sets of titles. Um, from the beginning of the dynasty on, we note an increase in the number of high officials. So this is one of the tombs of those high officials, we guess. Contrary to the fourth dynasty, high officials were now no longer restricted to members of the royal family. Government and administration were reformed, and this resulted in a far more efficient bureaucracy through which the king could control the country. Despite all the changes, fifth dynasty may have been closely related to the fourth. The Turing king list lists kings of the dynasty immediately after those of the fourth without making any changes. Stories noted on the papyrus West Car makes Yusser Kaf the brother of his two successors, the son of the priest of Raya, Re, and a woman named Rajedet. Archaeologists' sources contradict the view, has been held for true by many Egyptologists. Uh, we have here a number of beautiful images you can see. Uh, of, and they're even colored. I mean, these statues were even colored. Their hair was colored, their eyes, their eyelids, the ones that were made of um, uh, plaster or wood or stone. Amazing. So I'll leave links below for you for this on Ancient Egypt and also on fizz.org. We saw that we said that Ashraf Mohi, the head of the Giza Plateau Archaeological Site, says scientists know that the cemetery had been reused in the late period as archaeologists found painted and decorated wooden, wooden anthropoid coffins and wooden and clay funerary masks from that period. Uh, they must have been like the uh, similar to the ones that they had in Fayum. Now, in addition to these finds, archaeologists also found, recently found ancient tombs in the Nile Delta, uh, but they were buried. They didn't have, uh, they weren't mummified or put in place in coffins. Uh, I suppose that they were uh, not that rich, not, not that affluent, and that's why they didn't have a, a tomb burial. Um, and they were not mummified, perhaps. They were not placed in caskets. Egypt says archaeologists have uncovered ancient tombs dating back to the second intermediate period. That's between 1782 to 1570 BC, and they, this is in the Nile Delta. The Antiquities Ministry said that archaeologists also found 20 burial sites dating back to the pre dynastic period in Qom al Kolgan archaeological site. 87 miles north of Cairo. Mustafa Waziri, Secretary General, Supreme Council of Antiquities, says the tombs contained ancient animal remains, stone artifacts, and pottery fragments with drawings, and the ministry says the remains were not well preserved. In recent years, Egypt has heavily promoted new archaeological finds in, uh, to international media and diplomats in the hope of actively uh, attracting more visitors to the country. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events. 
events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.